hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to talk about how we can build any intelligent assistant for your company's environment and leveraging azure open ai and uh, custom built azure web api as a middle layer where we are going to make calls and right now i'm showing you my just dummy intranet portal that has multiple application so if i just click on these applications which has the different different forms and along with that i have this smart assistant created for my company's site and which can help us to do the intelligent actions based on whatever prompt or whatever instructions we pass to our this assistant so in my past video, I created one small application with Power Apps and leveraging Azure OpenAI with Power Automate where we fetched the, extracted the information from the document and fill out the forms. So let's take it forward. So right now in today's video, I am not going to take example of Power Apps because it's generic one. The UI can be anything. It's a, it can be a SharePoint portal with SPFX web part. It can be just dotted application which having which is having a simple form and so the backbone would still be like we are going to create one web api asp.net which we are going to host into azure and that web api endpoint will be called whatever action intelligent action we want to do with our this assistant application or with this our forms so let's talk about uh about the architecture how i have built this application so of course like we have this three parts first part is ui part so ui part as i said it can be sharepoint space web part can be asp.net web application it can be power apps as well because we are going to write this application which is in the middle that is azure web app and that would have three different endpoints specifically for the use case which we are talking about today of doing an intelligent document parsing so not only document parsing, but also like whatever speech we are giving to our assistant, it will pass that into structured data. So for example, if I am onto my this one supplier form and I want to populate the information without much headache to me. So I can say like, okay, I got an PDF of supply contract into my email. So I will directly upload that PDF. So let's try to find one sample contract and I will upload it. So my assistant, what it will do is it will fetch the structured data out of the unstructured data which I have provided. So you can see if I close up this window, the document, the form is pre-populated with the supply information, contract title, start date and date. It intelligently, it filled out all the information. And the same thing, if I say, like if I talk about like this video, so this audio, then I can give the input with audio as well. So I will just, Simply say, okay, I have a supplier contract and that amount value is 5000 USD and the name is Microsoft and the requested by Krishan Sharma and the stakeholders are John Doe. So, and I will stop it. So it extracted the information and you can see like my supplier name is changed and start date is changed, value contract, whatever I have given as an audio instruction, it extracted it. And the same thing I can do by typing the plain text in natural language and it will again do the parsing and fetch all the structured information out of my unstructured endpoint. So that we are going to build and I will show you the, the project which I have built into Visual Studio. So this is one of the document parsing app which I have created. If you are familiar with how to create the ASP.NET web applications or web APIs then it will be very easy for you and also like I will add this code into public github so that you can directly refer and I will share the path so that you can take advantage of this pre-built code. So I am going to walk you through this code and before that I will show you like what you would need to have this solution in place. So first of all you have to have your Azure AI registered the deployment model created for you. So if you have watched my previous videos where I have registered or created a new deployment model for my GPT-4 then you are familiar how you can do it so you can have your resource created and under that resource you can provision your deployment model so right now I am into my this deployment model which is 
which I'll be leveraging for creating or making call to open AI. So this is the GPD-4 and I will be using this endpoint and just this keys to make a connection from my Azure Web API to this open AI service. And then I also need Azure Web App where I can host my this created web application and I can directly publish my web application into Azure Web App. So right now, if I just click on publish, and I will show you that the publishing method I have chosen as Azure Web Application where this web app would be published. So Azure Web App Service, you can directly publish this using Visual Studio. So we are not covering this, how to do it, but we are more focused on how we, I have built this application so that you can directly take advantage of this code and get started within your organization to create the intelligent applications for yourself. ASP.NET controller web API and where I have this controller created and that controller is document controller minimize this and then you will see like my controller is this API controller that is document and under that I have HTTP post calls for parse PDF parse text and parse audio so this these calls will be called or will be served when I make a call using my this chat assistant so whenever I click on or choose a file and then click on parse extract, then it will the PDF parse extract endpoint would be called. And the wise the other way is like the audio parse, like where I would be extracting the audio information, convert that into text, and then pass that to my again OpenAI service. So to start it, you have to set up few of the settings into your App settings, the endpoint, Azure OpenAI endpoint, the endpoint from, from my Azure OpenAI service is this key deployment model. You have to create a configuration file out of it. Azure speech key region, you can just add this. API key, you can secure your this web API which we are building this document parser API with a key. And this key we are going to use while making an authorization for our any calls which is originating from our application or from outside. So this is the basic app settings we would require. And then I will just jump to my controller so that we can just walk through how we have built this controller and what this controller is going to do. So I will start with this parse text. So this endpoint is nothing but it takes the input as in like input text plain text and which I showed you that the plain text if I type in and on this enter I will call my this endpoint which we have created for this parse text and it will now take help of Azure OpenAI service to make a call and how we can do that so actually I have added NuGet packages for these dependencies so if you open it, the packages, you will find the Azure AI.OpenAI pack, NuGet package. You can add it. iText is to convert the PDF, the data, which the PDF file, which we are getting into the binary content, into the text content, which we can pass to our endpoint, as in plain text to OpenAI endpoint. And then we have this cognitive search, like for audio. If we are passing the audio files, MP3 or WAV file, dot wav file then it should be converted into the readable or understandable text and then in turn we are going to call the azure open ai as in to pass this struct unstructured input and to get the out structure output so just remember to have these three packages to be included as part of your this document api app application post that just create if i go to my program cs file you will find so this initial setting is for course policy like uh, whatever origination I want to pass for my this web application you can do that or you can just ignore it by just allowing everything to the policy so that's on you and later on like uh, I have I have done this in dependency injection of like uh, reading the configuration from application setting app settings and then you can see I have this other interfaces registered or injected as part of my this program CS though like we would not be talking about these one because in later video when we are going to build out one assistant then we are going to call out 
we are going to talk about these services so just ignore for time being so once you are done with your program CS then you can just go into your controller folder just start building out endpoints now I will go to my this sketch generated structured JSON and this I have written in one of the service that is parse service which we have injected as part of our program CS file and the provisioning itself so what it does is like it reads out all the configurations the Azure OpenAI endpoint the keys which we needed and then we have this main method that is generate structured JSON so what it does is it takes the plain text and generate the structured output out of it and how to get the structured output where we, we can provide the instruction what output they need to generate the OpenAI need to generate so we are passing we are taking help of this instruction that is let's say I want to extract my this contract request so the request the JSON the instruction we are passing to our AI model is that role is system and content you are an AI assistant that extract key details out of my supplier contract and return the data into JSON fields and what fields I want because my form I know like my form reads out these fields so I can have this simple ready to be as passed as an instruction prompt to my this open AI model so that they can understand what output they need to generate so if I go back to my this service of generate structured output and go back over here so you can see I am passing this instruction as an input text and the instruction key instruction key is nothing but this contract JSON contract request JSON you can create multiple JSON files for example for access card request or for onboarding of employee you can create multiple JSON which you want to extract the information out of in a particular structured manner in a JSON so you can pass on and later on with this chat completion option like we are defining like what temperature and max token this we are just controlling the rate limits and then later on we are just making a call to get chat completion from OpenAI client and we are passing the deployment name and the chat options which we built initially and the message which we built out of our input text which we have passed and the system prompt from json file so these are simple calls and then the response which we are expecting we will get that into json and we are passing that json and passing that back to our calling application the originated application which can be one form or any chat assistant or even power apps so once you get it just pass it and show at your front end side so this application this web api is independent it's not tied up to any ui so if i run that into my local host and open my postman i can show you how this will be called so that if you want to run this code into your own environment then you should be able to know how you can test your application so i'll just open the postman and as i just did a f5 so it's running in local host it's not published to Azure web app as of now so this is my local host port number and I am appending API document and the past text which is my this endpoint from this document controller API and so over here you can also specify like what uh, next parameter like what instruction or the model it can pick so right now it's hard coded if you see like pass text always pick the instruction as contract request but you can pass that as a parameter into over here if you wish to do it for multiple other forms as well and the expected output if you see like i get this expected output that supplier name and whatever information because it's not very much elaborated so it's not able to extract everything out of it if i just provide everything all the information then all the fields will be filled so this JSON I'm getting as a response which will be passed to my front end. So the same way I can do that for passing my this uh, wave file that is audio file that can be passed and the PDFs as well. And the same way when you publish that to your Azure then you will get an endpoint like this and you can still append your API document or whatever endpoint you wish to have. And you can pass your API key into headers so right now i have passed this like x api key and this is my api key and in body i have selected this audio file that is input parameter and it's a file type and the speech wave is a recorded wave file which has this information of extraction and if i do a send then it will get the data out of my this recorded audio 
and will parse will give me the same structured data out of that video and the same thing i can do with my this file this pdf file if i just click on this other endpoint over here in the body choose this pdf file the input parameter as an pdf file and do the same sort of parsing which i am expecting from my unstructured data as in structured data so the intent of this video is to familiarize you with my this this product which i built for document parsing though like it has many other things which i am going to cover into my next video so this is related to just creating one generic assistant which can do everything so you are just going to create this helper instruction and knowledge files and this instructions the the way you want to read those output and you are just set to go so it will actually would be more smart to read out what intent you want to have and based on that intent it will serve the request so for example you want to you want to say that i want to hire a new employee so what should i do so this engine the smart intelligent engine which we have built it will read out the entire the intent that you want to onboard an employee it will give you all the steps to onboard along with urls or the request urls which you want to access so for example i may do this and i will say i want to onboard new employee and i am just doing nothing just sending this prompt to my this open ai model and it will make a decision that what we want to do about my request so this assistant is giving me that okay step one you have to do this step two you have to do this and all this so this is end to end assistant for your organization and you can very well download it from my, from my git location and you can contact me if you face any difficulty in setting up for yourself so that is it for today's video and i will create one more follow up video for this so that i can guide you how my this intent engine the one more endpoint which is there related to workflow handler how this handle everything all the intents from an user and redirect to the actual intended routes to them so that is it for today's video i hope like you may find it useful thank you